What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. And make sure you follow me on all my socials. Link is in the description. Now, if you want to transform your life for the better, click the link in my description to get the ebook, 10 Things That Define Every King, and then just invest in yourself. Now, today, we're going to talk about one thing that you cannot avoid with women, and that is simply put, female nature. Female nature, women's emotions, whatever you want to call it. But simply put, just in a broad scheme of things, we're just going to call it female nature. Now, you as the man, you must understand that everything you have been taught about women, what they like, how they are, every, just everything about them has been a lie. Now, that is one of the agendas that you have been brought upon, that you have been raised to believe when it comes to society, when it comes to today's world and how we live in it. You know what I'm saying? How we operate in today's world. Majority of men are sinners. Majority of men do not understand women. Majority of men do not understand why women do what they do. Excuse me. Majority of men do not understand why women cheat. Majority of men are compromising. Majority of men are pedestalizing women, simping, being nice guys. Nice guys finish last. All these types of things. But now there's an awakening. There's a truth that is being presented. Therefore, I'm going to help you understand female nature in the grand scheme of things. First and foremost, you have to understand that what she say versus what she do will never equate. She will say one thing and she will do the opposite. You never trust, this, is, this is, even goes to just to extend with everybody that you interact with. You never trust words, you always trust actions. She can say she loves you, but she's cheating on you. So how does she love you? You see what I'm saying? You as the man must have discernment. You must have self-discipline enough to understand truth versus BS to understand just mere words versus actuality versus reality. You get what I'm saying? You have to have the discernment. You have to think with logic, not think with your emotions. Women think with their emotions. That's why women love emotional roller coasters, but they will never tell you that. Women say and open that they want nice guys, that they want to be catered to, that they want, you know what I'm saying, to be pedestalized, that they want to be taken care of, that they want to, you know what I'm saying, nice guys, somebody that's going to pour their heart out and just be really overly affectionate for them and just really just love them unconditionally. When that is complete BS, there's some truth in that, but generally speaking, that is complete BS because you gotta look, women say that, but you have to look at women's partners. Forget what they say about who they, what type of man they want when it comes to dating. Look at who they've actually been with. Who she's describing versus who she's actually been with, that they don't equate. You get what I'm saying? Women do not want simps. Women do not want nice guys. You, If you've been a nice guy, you are no longer a nice guy. You are no longer a simp. You understand this first and foremost. If you look back on your past relationships, I can do the same thing. Straight simping, right? And where did that lead you? If, of course, we were young, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the, the probability of those relationships lasting is a little to none, you know what I'm saying? It's a low percentage. But even still, female nature was still present back in those days. Simping is still, you know what I'm saying? To a certain extent, the downfall of those relationships. You have to just understand that like, it's like this, bro. Women are gonna do what's best for them. Women are master manipulators, bro. They're gonna tell you one thing and they're gonna do the opposite. They're going to act a certain way or do certain things, test you in certain ways to get under your skin, to get in your emotions, to get you to submit, to get you to fall for them. And it's all a part of her master plan. Are all women out to get you? No. Is female nature present within every woman? Yes. Well, do women indirectly or directly test you? Do all of them do that? Yes. So you as the man have to understand and adapt to these things. To see these things, you have to open your eyes and see. Because society has programmed you to be blind. Society has programmed you to just listen. Society has programmed you to not question things. To just accept what is being presented to you when everything that's being presented to you is BS. It is lies. It is propaganda. It is going to set you behind. Society wants you to become a nice guy. Majority of men, I ain't gonna say majority of men, but lots of men, even you maybe could say majority, majority of men, black men especially, do not have their fathers in their household. So therefore they're raised by the mother. When you're raised by the mother, naturally by default, because that is feminine energy trying to raise a masculine man. So that is feminine energy overpowering the masculine energy because you're being taught. So the things that you're being taught are gonna be straight BS. So it's going to make you grow into a nice guy. Grow into a simp. What is your, how does your mother tell you to treat the woman? Open the door for her, take her on dates, buy her flowers, do all this, pour your heart out, tell her you love her, tell her she's beautiful. All that extra stuff. When the dude that she's chasing does none of that. You see it in movies, Netflix movies, whatever kind of movies, princess movies, you see it. 
this princess queen type of individual, this goody girl. And there's always this nerdy type of guy that likes her, but she always overlooks him for the bad boy, the dude that could care less about her, the dude that just has all these other women. But in reality, she's still chasing him. They say, your parents always teach you, society always tells you, be like the nice guy. Why would you do that? When you like understand it, it makes sense, so you do that. But then you realize you go through this heartbreak because as men, when we're younger, we just we just want women, we just crave women, we just want women attention. When we get older, we in high school, whatever the case may be, you want to just get inside guts. You look, you know what I'm saying? You're looking at all of these women, you got access to all these women, bro. You looking, man, you looking at her, oh her booty so big, you with your homeboys, y'all chasing women all day, y'all going to parties, looking for the plays, looking for the hoes, whatever the case may be. But you like understanding when it comes to the woman. So now it's like you pedestalize the woman. So now it's like you have no room to find self-worth within yourself. So when it comes to the point where you get into a relationship or you get emotionally attached to a woman, things go downhill. She moves on with her life and she starts living her best life and she bounces on to the next dude. You are stuck. You are in the lowest slumps of your stuff. You are in the lowest state of yourself because of the things that you've been taught, because you've been listening to everything that you've been taught because you lack like understanding, because there's no self-worth that happens within yourself, because you place everything upon the woman. You feel as if your life is complete when you allow, when you bring a woman into your life, when in reality, your life should already be complete, when, when in reality, you should already be happy. But no, that is the lies that they feed us. Take care of her, pander to her, open up to her. When everything that you open up to her about is going to be used against you because you're in an emotional vulnerable state. When you are in an emotional, emotional vulnerable state with a woman, you are viewed as weak. You don't show signs of emotion. You don't cry and vent. You talk to your bros about that type of stuff. Why do you go to women for advice, especially dating advice? She's always going to tell you BS is going to be straight cap. You get what I'm saying? It's, not, it's never going to be the real, bro. You have to have the discernment. You have, that's why you have to open up your eyes so you can see clearly and see through these lies. The woman's emotions, bro. You got to understand these things are all games. They're all tactics to get under your skin, to see how to see what type of man you are, to see how weak you are, bro. You know what I'm saying? Religion comes in. You're supposed to wait, wait till marriage to you, you know what I'm saying, till you have sex and things of that nature. When in reality, bro, these women are going crazy. So now it's to the point where you're scared to approach that type of thing. When in reality, that's exactly what she wants you to do. Now, I'm not telling nobody to go against their religion, go against their beliefs. I'm just being real here. You know what I'm saying? That's how it comes down to, bro. So it's to the point where you're, you're this weak man. You have no game. You have no mouthpiece and you lack confidence. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're older, I mean, when you're younger, you get exposed to things like porn. Now it's like social media, it's like TikTok, it's Twitter. All these platforms is soft porn. So you you have, now your dopamine is all over the place. Now you're desensitized mentally. So now to the extent when you interacting with the woman, you cannot please her because you can't get up. All the performance anxiety, all these types of things because you're, you're worried too much about things that don't matter. You have, you lack the understanding the emotions, her emotions kick in, bro. Her emotions are always going to be all over the place. You are taught to be this nice guy who does the same thing, to be this predictable guy who does the same thing day in and day out as if that's going to keep the woman attracted to you, as if that's going to get her attached to you. No, that's why she steps out on you. That's why she's flirting with other dudes. That's why she's posting those types of things on the media. That's why she has streaks on Snapchat with all these different dudes. That's why she got all these male friends because you aren't enough. You don't do it for her. You compliment her day in and day out, all day, 24 seven. Your war literally revolves around her because that's what you've been taught. That's what you've been programmed to believe. That's what you really think women want when in reality it slaps you in the face every single time. You're always getting played. You're always getting cheated on. Nice guys finish last, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be to the extent that you're the guy who lacks understanding. You're the guy who's missing out on all the fun. You don't understand why all these dudes around you are getting all these women. And it seems like they're putting in minimal effort, but you are trying your hardest and you can't get one woman. You can't get a piece of coochie. You know what I'm saying? You can't get any, you can't get pleased at all because it's all manipulation. It's all lies. You just got to understand this like this, bro. Women will say one thing and do the other. They, they will hide their true nature because women are sensitive. Women are emotional. Most men lack understanding. So if they be, if women be upfront and honest about their true intentions about their true nature most men will judge them and they're afraid of that bro no woman wants to be looked at as a hoe regardless if she is or not no woman wants to be looked at as that so when you like understanding and you're like oh she really is like that oh she's nasty like that oh she wants that type of stuff done to her oh she likes that type of guy 
You see what I'm saying? The guy that likes understanding, that's his mentality. So he's judging her. That's why he is in the drought. That's why he's always getting passed up. That's why he's always getting played and cheated on. But the guy that has some type of understanding about how these women work, the guy that is barely emotionally there, he doesn't open up. He's closed off. He's like he there's some type of mystery about him. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Then it's like the, his mouthpiece and what he says, he has confidence when he's talking to the woman. He flows when he's talking to her. His tone of voice is smooth and low voice and he's taking his time when he's talking. He's not rushing and all excited when he's talking to her. All these types of things, he has some type of game about himself. He's dominating. He doesn't put the woman above him and things of that nature. The list goes on. But it comes to the extent that you as the man must be willing to just forget what you've been taught because it's all a lie. Women will play you. Women are hypergamous. She always wants the next best thing. So best believe that there are no breaks. There are no healing phases. You, none of that type of stuff, bro. When she breaks up with you, she already knows who's next. So she can just bounce from you to him. Simple as that because women's options are always open. That's another thing that you will not be told. That her, you think that she's yours. You think that that's your girl. You think that y'all are going to live happily ever after and get married. When in reality, that's the farthest, that's the farthest thing from the truth. You know what I'm saying? You're 14 years, 15 years, 16 years old. You're thinking about marrying. You're thinking about settling down with this woman who is literally just becoming, in, literally, literally coming into her prime, literally about to live and have the most fun possible out of her years of her life. And you're thinking about settling down with her. You're thinking about y'all tying down and being together for years and years and years on end. When in reality, bro, you have a limited contract. You know what I'm saying? There's only a matter of time before she goes to the next dude. And the next dude could literally be your homeboy. The next dude could be this guy that you dab up on a day-to-day -day basis that is just her friend, when in reality, he's been hidden for six months. These types of things, women are sneaky. Women take things to the grave. Women are all on the same team. All, all this type of stuff that you will never learn if you continue to listen to society. If you continue to listen to what your parents taught you when you were younger. If you continue to listen to her and what she's telling you. No, 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 no. You have to adapt to the woman's nature. You have to play into her emotions. A lot of y'all are scared to do these types of things with y'all's women. And that is why y'all lack connection. That is why you really don't get her attached. You care too much about her. You're worried about women who don't care anything about you. You have no room to self-improve your own life. Because when we're so younger, everything in society is pointing towards just depletion of your masculine essence, depletion of your seed, taking the focus away from yourself and putting it on all these women. You click on every little social media app. There's always a new trend that involves a woman doing something with her body. Not saying it's right or wrong. Not saying you can do whatever you want with your body. You are a women can do whatever they want with their body. I'm not the man that's going to say that they can do this, this, and this with their body, that they're not supposed to do this, this, and this. I'm just telling you as the man how to adapt to it, how to not be manipulated by it. That's what I'm telling you because you cannot control a woman. You should never want to control a woman. You as the man, you just focus on what you can't control. Your mindset, your actions, your reactions to the things that women do. You have to understand how to pass these tests. A lot of y'all be so worried. It's like, I need, to, I need to make her happy. I need to do this. I need to do that. When in reality, bro, you're going to stress yourself out. She's not looking for you to be perfect. Y'all always want to be perfect because y'all overthink situations. You want to say the perfect line to her. You want to say this and this and this. You sending these freaky texts and you running around hitting flips because you're so nervous and you're anticipating what she's going to say. You need to just cool out and just calm down. You're getting around the woman. You're so nervous. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. You sweating. You need to calm down. Experience is the best teacher, but we all started off as a simp. We all started off as a nice guy. You get what I'm saying? I didn't get to this point by not simping. I got to this point by being the biggest simp. But I had to go through the heartbreak. I had to go through the healing phase. I had to go through the rebuilding. I had to go through the self-improvement. Still going through the self-improvement to become the best version of myself day in and day out. But we all start somewhere. We all have our own origin story, bro. You use that as fuel and motivation. You don't use that as pain and aggression and you know what i'm saying you hold on resentment so you can go back and get flex on your ex so you can get back and get revenge on your ex and do all that extra stuff you don't do any of that you use the pain you use the lies you use the bs you use the propaganda as fuel and motivation to adapt to enhance your character to enhance your well-being as a man so you can move on and attract better and do better and just receive better and more abundance in your life when you're younger you have this scarcity mindset because as men it just it's just heavily on self-worth heavily on self-identity heavily on self-happiness 
peace within self. None of those things are existing when you're younger, when you lack understanding, when you're blue. I can't even say when you're younger, just when you lack understanding. Because it goes down to the extent that everything revolves around the woman. When you put her first, you will always be last. Stop pedestalizing these women. You have to understand, bro. She's doing these things to get a reaction out of you. She's posting that to get a reaction out of you. She's flirting with him, talking to him in your face to get a reaction out of you. She's talking to you crazy to get a reaction out of you. She's playing these games to get a reaction out of you. And your reaction should be not caring. You clashing and going back and forth and playing into her emotions like that, that is not what you want to do. You want to get her, you want to let her know that, bro, you're not worried about that. If she want to do all that tripping and playing and trying to, you know what I'm saying, get under your skin, tit for tat, all that type of stuff, bro, you let her do that with another guy. You being the man, you just being assertive, you just being so goal-oriented, so directed on bettering your life, you don't have time to just deal with any of that, bro. Because as men, we are set back in our earlier years because we put so much emphasis on women instead of putting so much emphasis on creating a life for ourselves that we lack understanding. All we want to do is get women. All we want to do is chase women. All we want to do is dig out some goods. And there is nothing wrong with that, bro. But it comes down to the extent when that's what you prioritize, when you wake up thinking about, you know what I'm saying, women, where the hoes at, when you, and you don't have no money, you don't have no job, you don't have anything going in your own life, you're always going to be set back. And then, then it's to the point where now we're complaining. Now, you know what I'm saying? Then it's to the point where it's like, you lack understanding. Now you may be actually getting women. Now you simping. You don't, because it's, it's a, you see, it's a downward spiral, bro. Your life is gonna spin out of control if you lack understanding with the women, when you pedestalizing the women. You gotta understand that you as the man, you just must simply send her on an emotional roller coaster. How do you do that, bro? Not being emotionally there. Having her wondering, how can she wonder when you always send paragraphs telling her how exactly how you feel, when you're always taking her on dates, you have to understand, bro, how can she appreciate the things that you do for her when you do them 24-7, 365, day in and day out, bro? How can she appreciate these things? How is there anything different and spontaneous and mysterious about you? She has you figured out. You never want to be figured out as the man. This is why you don't open up 100% to your woman because you don't want to be figured out by your woman. You must be mysterious and spontaneous. There must be things that she just does not know, but that keeps her wondering. So that keeps the attraction building up because to the extent that she already sees you as physically attractive because you have to first and foremost be in the gym. So she sees you as physically attractive. A lot of y'all men, y'all are scared. You know what I'm saying? She sees you as physically attractive. You in shape. She's thinking about what you can do to her. Not where you work at. You know what I'm saying? Not where you came from, not where you live. She's not thinking about any of that, bro. She's thinking about what you can do for her, do to her on first interaction because when your physique is on point, it just adds to the attraction. You get what I'm saying? It just adds to it because you have social proof. It shows that you care about your life. It shows some type of dominance, some type of aggression. So she's thinking, okay, he's lifting these heavy weights. Okay, his, his, his physique is on point. So I know if he cares, I know that he can probably dominate me around because he's dominating these weights. He's dominating his life. She sees the success within your life. So now it's to the point where it reels her in. But no, what you want to do? You want to try and attract women. You want to try and get women when you have nothing to offer. It's like, why do we as men think that we can get high quality women or, or a lot of women for that matter or a, sustain, or a stable relationship when we do not have our lives in order? Not saying perfectly in order, but you should be striving every single day to create for yourself. You should be striving every single day to just enhance your mindset, just to get better. Whether you learn something new, whether you make some more money, whether you get a new job, whether you're saving more money than you did last week, whatever it is, you should just, you should just be striving to get better. And you should understand that women come along with this, bro. There is nothing wrong with wanting better women, higher quality women. We all want that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But when that is at the head of your priority list, you will always fall short. When you simping and complaining, I mean, not simping and complaining, when you simping and pedestalizing and catering and pandering to the woman, you would be in a yes man, all these types of things, you being this nice guy, you being this good guy, you're going to always fall short. You're never going to experience her best like that. If you want to experience her best, bro, you have to plant her emotions. You have to center on an emo emotional roller coaster. Some of y'all are scared to tell y'all woman no. Some of y'all are scared to get her in her emotions. You, you just want to make her happy and make her smile all day as if that's getting her driven right down there. No, bro. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to stand up for yourself. You have to understand that, bro. Women do these things just to get reactions out of you. She just wants to see if you can submit to her. She just wants to see if she can get under your skin. She just wants to see if you're a weak man. And when you prove to, you know what I'm saying? When you prove her right, 
that you are this weak man, that you are this simp, she's going to manipulate and abuse you. This is why when you are a simp, bro, women just want to just manipulate and abuse you and use you for what you have, your attention, your time, your validation, and your dates. When you are a simp, you are doing all those things day in and day out, bro. You're always giving her attention. You always want to be on the phone with her. You always want to be with her. You know what I'm saying? Give her space, she starts to chase. That does not exist. Your validation, you always telling her how you love her, how she looks good, how she's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You never telling her how you don't like what she got on. She could do anything. It could be the worst stuff. It could, you know what I'm saying? It could, it could be the worst outfit ever. You know what I'm saying? She could have on all this face paint, this makeup, and you telling her to just look good when it look trash, and you know it look trash, but you just catering to her. You just pandering to her. You get what I'm saying? You following up behind her emotions. You're becoming emotional just like her because you're so emotionally attached to her. You you whipped around the coochie. That's another thing. Y'all get inside these guts with these bad chicks, and then y'all just lose sanity. You know what I'm saying? You just fall victim to all the manipulation and tactics, but not because you're thinking with your emotions, not because you're thinking with your little head instead of your big head. You get what I'm saying? When you do those types of things, you always fall short. You must be a man of self-discipline. You have to understand that you have to prioritize success, but you have to always, you have to always understand the woman, bro. You have to always understand the woman. You got to understand why she going to do what she going to do. You got to understand why she flirted with him. You got to understand why she went from him to him. You get what I'm saying? You got to understand why she cheated on you. You have to understand why she's attached to you. You got to understand why you imprinted her. What are the things that you're doing? How are you standing out as the man? Majority of men are nice guys. Majority of men are simps. So how are you going to stand out? You got to understand her options are always open. There's always going to be a dude waiting on your downfall, praying on your downfall. In her DMs. Waiting on you to mess up. All these types of things. You have to adapt to these things, bro. Don't get mad at what they do. Just adapt to it. Stop caring so much. When you stop caring so much, she starts to care more. The less the things that you do less of, she will do more of, and that's how you get her attached. When you're less emotionally available, she's going to become emotion, more emotionally attached to you. If the attraction is already there, if you're digging around in these types of things, you know what I'm saying? You're getting into her mind, telling her things, you know what I'm saying? Teaching her things. A lot of y'all just go with the motions. Y'all do the bare minimum, and you think you're going to get her attached. Terrible. No, you have to stand out. How can you stand out when you simp all day? How can you stand out when you do the same thing every single day? You're taking her on these same dates. Everything is the same with you. When you're the same, you're going to get predictable. When she, when you get predictable, she gets bored. When she gets bored, she gets curious. When she gets curious, she starts wandering around thinking about this dude, this dude, this dude, this dude, and this dude. And you're done. You're done. Simple. You have to adapt to the nature of the woman. You have to understand that everything that she's going to say is going to be a lie. It's going to be BS. She's going to use her emotions. She's going to use her looks. She's going to use her guts. She's going to use all of these things to get you attached, to get you wrapped around her finger. And when that happens, you're done. When she figures out show game and she figures out that she can do whatever and you're going to always stay, you're done. If she cheats on you and you stay, you're done. If you go back on your word, you're done. If you put her above you, you're done. All these types of things. If you simp, you're done. You pedestalize her, you're done. You're emotionally, you're, too, you're emotionally attached, you're done. Everything that you're doing, she should be doing. You should, she should be pouring her heart out to you. She should be chasing you. She should be blowing your phone up. But when you do all those things, you're done. But why are we doing these things? Because that's how we've been raised. That's what we've been brought up to believe as true. But when you get your heart broke, you're going to understand. Some of us get our heart broke time and time again. You're going to understand that, man, I've, I've been doing, something is wrong. Something is wrong. I've been doing everything that my parents have been telling me to do. I've been doing everything that society has been telling me to do. I've been doing everything that the church has been telling me to do. And I still fall short with these women. It don't add up, right? It don't add up, right? Well, why is that the case, bro? You get what I'm saying? So now let's go. What is that going to do to you? If you get your heart broken enough times, you get your heart broken too many times, you're going to get fed up and you're going to say enough is enough. The girl that was the love of your life, she's now the biggest lesson of your life. You hate to think back to that chapter of your life because you realize that you was the lowest version of yourself and you just hate that. You gotta understand that they hate nice guys, bro. It's just to that extent, bro. You have to, you have to get, a, you have to become a man. You can't just be this weak simp, beta all day, all your life, and think that women are gonna be attracted to that. No, you have to have masculinity about yourself. You have to dominate. How do you dominate? Dominate in your own life, bro. Stop focusing on her so much and what she's worried about. If she likes you or not, nobody cares about none of that. You care too much about stuff that don't matter. You care about what she what she's going to think if you do this or you do that. What she's going to think if you say or how she's going to feel. Nobody cares. She should be think, should think she should be thinking that about you. 
You need to prioritize becoming the best version of yourself. You need to forget about the ideologies and the mindset that it comes when it comes to dealing with women that you've been brought up and raised to believe because it's a lie. You got to understand that, yes, you need to have money. Yes, you need to have your physique on point. Yes, you need to have a mouthpiece. Yes, you need to have bedroom game. You need all those types of things. No, you don't need to be Vin. No, you don't need to be simping. No, you don't need to be this nice guy. Yes, you can be a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Be a gentleman, but a nice guy? No. No, you don't need to be this toxic, overboard, you know what I'm saying, dude that don't care, the overly nonchalant type of dude. But overly nice, simp type of dude that you were when you were younger or you still are right now? No. You must have balance, bro. You get what I'm saying? Too much of anything is a bad thing, so stop being so nice all the time. That's not what she wants. You stop listening to what she say and trust her actions. Look at who, look at her dating partners, you know what I'm saying? Look at the dude that she's posting about. Look at the dude that she can't get, that she can't get over. Does he, is, she, is that the guy a nice guy? No. So, like, why do you think that you got to be this type of dude? Look at the dudes that are in her DMs. Are those nice guys? Yes. And where are they in her DMs? They're there for a reason. So, adapt to these things, bro. You have to stop being this weird, nice, simp, weak, closed off, quiet, sissified, simp type of dude. And become a man. Take control of your life. You have to take... How do you take control of your life, bro? By stop putting the focus on women and focus on self-worth, focus on self-identity, figuring out who you are, finding peace and happiness within yourself. If you cannot find peace and happiness within yourself without the company of a woman, you're going to struggle. You're always going to fall short. You're always going to be set back because you think that you need this woman's companionship. Yes, we all want it. Yes, we love women. But you must find you must have peace and happiness within yourself. She should be a compliment to what you already got going on within your own life. Not She's the missing piece. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all are looking for the missing piece. A lot of y'all are looking for women as the missing piece in your life. I'm going to get her and then my life going to be complete. One day I'm going to meet the woman of my dreams. There is no woman of your dreams, man. There is no one. There is no, like, there is no anomaly. There is no, you know what I'm saying? One woman that's going to stand out. What, what is that? You know what I'm saying? They all can cheat on you. Or do all women cheat? No. Are all women capable of cheating? Yes. You think you saved? You think that that's your girl? You know what I'm saying? You think that y'all gonna live happily ever after and all this extra BS when no, that's never going to be the case. Forget about that old stuff. You know what I'm saying? Forget about what you've been taught. Forget about what society is telling you. Forget about what your mama told you. It's a lie. It is a lie. Adapt to the truth. Get some masculinity within yourself. Upgrade your mouthpiece. Upgrade your physique. Stop caring so much. Just dominate and go after what you want in life. Women gonna see that, they're gonna be attracted to that. Learn how to dig her guts out and just not care about her. Learn how to not bust when you're digging her guts out and just send her off. Learn how to stop caring so much. You pander her to her and worried about how she feels and trying to make her happy all the time. You need to make her cry for once in your life. You, that's what you're scared to do. But in reality, that's what she wants. You gotta learn how to play with her emotions a little bit. You wanna just make her smile and happy and all this. She don't want that, man. You know what I'm saying? She wants somebody that's going that's not scared to just rough her up a little bit. Not like you not domestic violence. I'm talking about emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all going to hear that and y'all going to go crazy. No. Not domestic violence, not physically, emotionally. Play with her emotions a little bit. Play with her mind a little bit, bro. Stop being scared to do the things that you know you need to do. Stop just thinking about what you need to do and do what you know. You know what you're supposed to be doing. You know you ain't supposed to be simping. You know you ain't supposed to be this nice guy. You know you ain't supposed to be beating your meat. You know you're not supposed to be chasing and pedestalizing women. So what are you supposed to be doing? Being on your grind, being in control of your life. It's as simple as that. It's so much easier when you have your life in order. It's so much easier when you understand how they work because you understand that you don't have to put up with any of that BS. You understand that if she tripping, it's way more women out here so you don't have to deal with her BS. You know what I'm saying? You, you understand that it's like this. Less is more. You on your grind. You don't have time to be worried about what she got going on, but she's going to be thinking about you because the attraction is already there. You don't have, she, if she keeps telling you that you got to keep taking her on dates, she's obviously using you. Y'all think one more date and I'm going to get her. You're dumb. No, that's not how it works. You, you listening to her, applying all this pressure like she said you got to do, when in reality, the dude that's in her guts right now, as we speak, applied no pressure. She shot at him. So stop listening to what they say. Forget about this society. You cannot escape female nature. It is in every woman. So adapt to the real. Adapt to the real ideologies and real principles and how women really work or how they really maneuver, how their mind is really set up, what they really want in men. You get what I'm saying? Not what they say, but how they really act. Look at her dating partners. Adapt to this knowledge. Apply this knowledge. Assimilate to this knowledge. Adapt. Enhance your life. Enhance your well-being as a man. And bro, the, the game with the women is going to come easy the more you put yourself in the field. Stop just watching the videos all day and go talk to more women. Get in the field. You get what I'm saying? Stop being scared 
to be rejected. You get what I'm saying? You must have confidence. You must have dominance. You must have resilience. You must be assertive. You must be a man at the end of the day. So be one. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.